As the discussion surrounding reparations continues throughout the region, a draft special declaration on reparations put forward by Prime Minister Gonçalves at the second summit of the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, or CELAC, was met with mixed emotions. Gonçalves disclosed that the reason for the legislation not getting the backing of some representatives at the meeting was due to disagreements on the phrasing of a sentence within the draft. He explained that the statement in question was, quote, identifying just and effective means to provide reparations for the impact of those serious human violations of human rights that in some cases may be crimes against humanity to which they are morally obliged, unquote. Gonsabs, however, noted that genocide and slavery cannot in some cases be crimes, adding that on realizing this, he put an amendment forward which was not agreed on by all. Making comments on the draft document on reparations, Jomo Thomas said if the resolution was passed, it would have went a long way toward widening the scope of people lending their authoritative voices on the issue of reparations. Thomas said although many of the representatives present at the meeting are in favor of reparations, they did not believe it was the best thing to say that the transatlantic slave trade was a crime against humanity. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Union has announced the names of candidates who will be contesting the next election of the union, which will be held on Friday, 19th February and 20th, 2014. The candidates were finalized by the union's election committee following the closure of nominations on January 31st. The candidates include SVGT Teachers Union President Oswald Robinson, with no one named to run against him for that position. Sheldon Govaya and Ray Laborde will contest the position of first vice president and Kent Kane and Hugh Wiley for the second vice president position. Other positions to be contested include general secretary, assistant general secretary, PRO, treasurer, and committee members. The National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, the NTRC, alongside its partners, the Center for Enterprise Development, the National Insurance Service, the Searchlight Newspaper, and the Ministry of Education, is in the process of hosting their first annual idea and innovation competition known as the I-Squared Competition. The competition, which officially began on Friday, October 18, 2013, has gone past the preliminary judging stages and is now at the final level. The competition seeks to primarily focus on the importance of idea creation and the possibilities that can develop from the seed of innovation that are planted in the minds of our young people. Students will be challenged to develop and present ideas in the form of projects and mobile applications. 27-year-old Ronaldo Chambers of Barrelly was arrested and charged with the following, damaging the radio antenna of motor vehicle G666, the property of the government of SVG without lawful cause or excuse, using indecent language, and assaulting Gart Deschamps, Sergeant 193, Lennon Toppin, PC682, also Alexis Richards, PC692, and resisting arrest. Miranda preschoolers now have a barrel filled with school supplies thanks to the SVG Helping Hands Incorporated. The youngsters were enthralled by the articles which also included toys, food items, clothing and toiletries that were delivered to them on January 31st at the school's location at French's. Miss Anita Ralph, proprietor of the Miranda Preschool, stated she was pleased with the speedy response of the SVG Helping Hands Inc. and pointed out that once she sent in her request and documentation to prove her legitimacy, they they were prompt to assist. Ralph concluded that it was admirable that the organization was established by Vincentians living overseas who have not forgotten to give back to their birthland. Local representative of SVG Helping Hands Incorporated, Sharon Charles, who handed over the barrel, explained that organiz the organization was established by three cousins, Susan Child Ellis, Sally Regisford Charleston, and Natasha Bullock Odero, who live in California and all wanted to make a difference. That's the local news coming up, the regional news and more.